RVD saying, check out DJ Dell's. I'm an addict for snitches. Sneaker Addicts, what's really good? It's your boy DJ Dells. We got the upcoming Air Jordan 4 Black Laser with that gum out. So releasing on January 19th for $200. dollars going to give you a detailed look. Subscribe if you're new, of course. Hit that little notification bell. This way, when I go live, you get to watch the live stream. And as soon as I upload the vid, you get notified. We also have my Sneaker Addict t-shirts. Thank you to everyone that's been picking them up. Available long sleeve, short sleeve. Check out all the designs. That will be linked in the description box below so i must say these are really really dope in person i'm a big fan of when they laser out the upper of the air jordan 4 i remember when they released that white one and it had like that translucent outsole the price point on that was $250. These are $200. Jordan Brand learned from their mistakes, realizing they ain't gonna get more than $200 for a shoe like this. Because I remember when them white lasers came out, I'll try to put a pop-up somewhere on the screen so you can see a review on it. When them white lasers came out with the translucent outsoles, the same time they released an Air Jordan 1 with the lasering, them things sat because they were way overpriced, way, way overpriced. $200, I could get down with that price. Still high, but it ain't no $250 like they used to be with the Laser Force. Getting up close, you see that upper, the leather is, it's decent. It's not amazing, but it's decent. It's not horrible. And that lasering looks fantastic on it. You got your rubber mesh right there with your wing harness going up to the laces, of course, classic. And that lasering is sick. Really, really dig the lasering. You got your air unit right there. Whole midsole's white. You start seeing that gum outsole, which I love. Let's look at it. Really, really dope. You can't go wrong with a gum outsole. Never, never, ever. Looking at the back, you've got your rubber guard in black with your white jump. Man, pops real nice. Bong, bong. Now, close up on the medial side, just want to... Let you guys see that actual lasering on the upper. A lot of dope designs. Really, really love it. As I said, I'm a fan of when they do the lasering on the Jordan 4s. Always have been. And as far as the fit to these shoes, definitely go true to size. Even if you have a wide foot, true to size is the way to go on these. I feel like the Jordan 4 got a pretty wide fit to it already. So you should be good to go unless, as I always say, you got the cinder block foot. The dinosaur foot, Fred Flintstone, a damn brick, then go up half a size. But, I mean, if you just have a little bit of a wide foot, stay true to size. I think you should be straight with these. And if you have a narrow foot, you may even be able to go down half a size. If you do go down half a size on shoes from time to time, especially Jordans, then you may be able to get away with going down half a size. But to be safe, go true to size on this shoe. And please, right now, I had to really go out of my way to get you guys... An official authentic retail pair please right now just take a second and bang that thumbs up button it would mean a lot to me it helps my channel and thank you very much birds off you on the toe check it out check it out <laughs> I love the lasering and then you got your rubber mesh tongue flat laces your flight tag up top right there with your jump man and then behind the tongue, you have your Air Jordan upside down. It's always been a mystery why it's upside down. Honestly, I don't know the facts. If you know it, leave it in the comments. I've heard things like people used to fold the tongue forward back in the days. Let me know in the comments if you know. Looking at the outsole, black with your red jump man right there. And there you go with a close-up HD look at these. Do not go anywhere. I'm going to show you some upcoming sneakers. Man, I love them. Let me know what you think of them. Perfect for the season cold out i know some of you guys got snow out there i hate the snow i can't stand the rain <laughs> i can't stand I can't the rain, 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 rain. <laughs> i can't stand it though you know it messes up your sneakers it's the worst so like something like this is really easy to maintain with the gum outsole you know that's just so easy to clean white midsole to keep it a little fresh to death still easy to clean a white midsole black upper super easy i mean this is a good pair of kicks for the winter you can't go wrong with this colorway the silhouette is one of the best silhouettes as far as with jordans right here i mean there's not many jordans that could compete with these right here as far as the silhouette 
not my favorite, but I would throw it up there on my top 10 list as far as the best Jordan silhouettes. Let me know your favorite three Jordan silhouettes in the comment box below. Number one's easily the six, then the three, and then the 11. That's me. These are releasing really soon. This is the Black History Month Air Jordan 2. I did a super detailed review on these yesterday. Check out the video because I get really close up, break it down, let you know about the materials and all that good stuff. And they're about to release really soon. So if you're interested in these, definitely watch the video before you buy them. Definitely. I try to get you guys early reviews so that you get an idea of what you may be ordering online so you know what you get and that's my goal i do youtube video reviews for the people people's champ dj dells when it comes to sneakers i just want to give you guys detailed looks to help you all out so i'm um, definitely check out that video and i will try to put a pop-up somewhere on the screen i mean i uploaded it yesterday so you can also go to the recent videos and check it out but from the comments it seems like a lot of people aren't feeling the sneaker i thought people were gonna dig it but the comment section there's a little bit of a roasting fest going on on these people are really roasting these <laughs> they're not feeling them definitely check out the review possibly next on the menu to review the westbrook black history month shoe these remind me of some Adidas sneakers. I think it's because there's no real branding on the sneaker. Plus, you got those kind of stripes going on. So, I don't know. It gives me an Adidas vibe. I don't know if you see it. Maybe I'm going crazy. If I'm going crazy, leave in the comment box right now. Delzy, you're going crazy. Or if you agree with what I'm saying, let me know that too in the comments. But it definitely got like an Adidas vibe to me. I like the sneaker. I think it's funky. I'm digging them. One thing really unique on them is the outsole. Check out how it has the tag that we're used to seeing inside of the shoe. It's on the heel right there. And that's super unique. I I think it's kind of cool actually i mean i'm not like gonna buy the sneaker because it has a damn tag on it but i think it's something different i dig it let me know what you think of it these Kyrie's are fire i love these it, to me this is the best Kyrie colorway on the fives to release that hot pink is popping so loud over that black i love that little tag that's hanging out too toward the back it's really a nice pair of shoes the Kyrie five man they delivering with the colorways they really are delivering this year huge fan of this colorway review will be coming soon along with these foam posits right here i love foams i wore foam posits yesterday while i was coaching my daughter's basketball team rocking them dr dooms man big fan of foam posits always will be i don't care if they are hype or not i don't care about that i never wear sneakers because it's popular as far as the model the silhouette i always wear what i want to wear but i will be doing a review on these really soon and before i forget i have a podcast if you're into podcasts check out mine over at patreon.com backslash dj dells we're at 43 episodes and we do giveaways there it's totally uncensored it's a lot of fun with q a check it out give give it a listen i think you'll really really enjoy it and the other day i reviewed these brand new air jordan sixes that just recently released I think that it could have been better, the colorway. I like the colorway, but it could have been way, way better. Let me know what you think of them. Definitely watch that review if you haven't seen them yet, because I really give an in-depth review, unbiased reviews as always. I never, ever try to suck up to Jordan brand or any brand, Nike, Adidas. I always tell it how it is. If the brand loves me, great. If the brand doesn't love me, I don't like that. But at the end of the day, without you, the viewers, there ain't nothing going on with me. You guys watching is the reason why brands would even mess with me. So I always got to keep it a buck with you all and tell you what and tell it how it is. And that's all you're going to get here versus a lot of these other YouTubers out there. And for all you guys that are tired of all that sneaker drama that's going on on YouTube, this is the place to be, man. We don't entertain that kind of nonsense. This is all about sneakers. This is, <laughs> this is all about sneakers. It's the Sneaker Addict channel. This ain't a soap opera. We do sneakers here. So... <laughs> You know, tell a friend about the show. I hope you all had fun watching this. I had fun filming it. And everyone have a great day. And let me know in the comments what shoe I should review next. Because I read every single comment. So leave a comment. If you haven't banged that thumbs up button, please do so. And if you got nothing to say in the comments, just write, I'm an addict for sneakers. Thanks for watching. We out.